is this is like in this video is showing everything that is new and improved in our new version 2.3.2. Here we go. Rally Navigator now supports multiple languages for our system and menu files. The user can choose language. You'll see the drop down here. Uh, can pick a language. All the menus are in different languages. Big improvement for international users. User can also now select a snap to roads and map language. In this menu, uh, you'll see we have English, French, and Spanish in our snap to roads function. We have a much improved street view, lar much larger frame, and moving the street view now controls the um, map. Also have a larger full screen map and street view, which is helpful when you're laying out your route. A user can now select to show or hide the waypoint precise in a roadbook. So uh, this can be controlled here, waypoint precise. You can show or hide this. Let's go back to English. So this will show or hide this in the PDF roadbook. You can see I have two waypoint precises going to the roadbook. We're only showing the first one. We have a new, very improved drawing tool. Thank you to our developer, Philippe. So selecting the drawing tool pops this up here. A user can set, select a preset for sand. Drawing this, go right out of the box, back in the box, and you have a nice sand. Same thing we can do for Wadi. a lake and deselect solid shape and this will give you a line drawing tool. Thank you to Fleet. A user can now select gray text color. Uh, this is useful if you want to put text on a uh, dark background sign. So when importing a GPX file, user now has the option to remove timestamps. Uh, if you've assembled a GPX track from multiple different tracks with different timestamps, sometimes it'll import in a not a real pretty way. Select remove timestamps to get rid of that. If you've recorded a GPX track with a very high resolution, uh, you can remove the unnecessary track points by selecting this box uh, when importing the file. Rally Navigator now supports new uh, Rally devices, Stell and Nube, TeamTrack, and Digicomp file export. We now have speed icons up to 180 and end speed icons up to 180. Our Street View, excuse me, our uh, TSD export sheet, export TSD and control waypoint sheet. Uh, this now includes all the waypoints, speeds, opening, and validation radiuses. This information is necessary for FIA format uh, roadbooks. New pro features. A pro user can now show the waypoint number on the map. Uh, and this will also uh, show waypoint number. We can show control waypoint number. A pro user can also show the speed limit and show an elevation on the map. You can see both of those displayed here. We even built a new tool for adding a uh, cap and heading and distance tool. So we're gonna select waypoint 20 here, go to waypoint, add distance and cap. You'll see the distance and cap heading has been added. I'll zoom in. Moving the track point will update the distance and cap so everything stays accurate. This is a very nice tool. Uh, adding a second distance and cap. We are now working off of the second waypoint here, or second track point. So very nice upgrade there for our pro users. Pro users also, we've added a map measuring tool. So click that to select it. You can click the map and this will add measurement, anything you need to measure on the map. Uh, shows you the distance and the cap heading. To clear it, click the tool again. That's a quick review on our pro features. Improved features. Uh, user can now 
uh, overlay multiple GPX files. Uh, previously, it was just a single GPX file. So I'm going to select a bunch of GPX files here, click open. And you can see we've, we've added multiple GPX files to, to the map. Uh, now when importing multiple GPX files, each file imports is a different color. This is useful if you have several uh, rally participants, say record GPX tracks, you could overlay them over the route and see you know, rider number one is green, rider number two is blue. We now have the option to hide the waypoint number and the partial distance is much bigger on the map. So when exporting a GPX file, you can hide the note or row number and then that will give you the uh, larger uh, partial and waypoint control uh, on the roadbook here. We can now change the auto highlight function. So track style, if I am black with highlight, and we can turn off auto highlight, and this will make this, turn this into a fully black and white roadbook. We've improved our auto arrange feature, so that toggles on and off here. So auto arrange now, also auto scales, so a large icon, Let me clear the map overlay. Um, and then as you add additional icons, uh, they will shrink in size. Now adding text. Adding text now is a much improved auto formatting. The text box is centered and larger. So it keeps a nice auto formatting feature there. Uh, another feature we've improved, it's not so obvious, uh, now, when adding a, any element to the roadbook, it is immediately selected with the red track handles. Previously, you had to click away and click back uh, to manipulate an element. Now, they're, they're selected immediately for uh, rotating and scaling. We have also uh, bug fixes. We've fixed our undo-redo function. Our paste function has been improved. And we've also fixed uh, navigation of waypoints on a Mac using the up and down key. So that is a quick review of everything that is new and improved in Rally Navigator. I hope you like it. Thank you to our pro users. Thank you to all the folks who contributed to our translations. Uh, if you see anything that needs an improved translation, please send me a screenshot and the exact suggested translation. And thank you to everyone who supports Rally Navigator. Have fun making roadbooks.